Today I'm going to teach you how to program your handset speed dials using Microsoft Word or Notepad, depending on what you prefer. And then you can extract the file and load them to other handsets so they all have the same speed dials. Okay, so firstly you'll need to press the OK button on your idle handset and just take note of the IPv4 address. That's what you'll need to type in the web browser. Open up your web browser. Up the top in the address bar, type in the IPv4 address, just like so, and hit enter. Now the default username and password is admin. It may have changed depending on who installed the system for you. There is also a user level account, which the credentials are user and user. So once you're in, up the top, you can click on directory, and this is where your contact list is going to be. As you can see, there are many options, uh, not just one phone number per contact, you can import many. You can also put them in different groups, change their ringtones and use them per account if you have different accounts on that same handset. I'm only going to put a test contact in here with fake numbers and you hit add. And there it is up the top. So once you're ready to extract the CSV file, you click extract. It is a good idea to save at least one contact using this web browser because then when you extract the file you know what format all the other numbers need to be and it's a lot easier for you to see that. So once you've saved the file, click on open folder or manually browse to the location where you've saved the file. Right click, open with notepad. I find notepads the easiest for me. Usually I copy and paste the second line there and just change the number of names. You can delete the top line, you don't need it, but I'll leave it for an example as to what happens. It actually uploads it as a contact if you don't delete it. So then I'll go ahead and enter a second contact. When you are done, save the file. Then go back to the Yearlink website or web page and you go down the bottom browse the folder and hit upload or import sorry so if you leave that first line you'll see that it actually thinks it's a contact so I always delete it um, and then you've got the following two contacts that you've put in there and you just hit import there's a box at the top that says delete old contacts. So if you want to get rid of all the old contacts and replace them with these new contacts, then you can. Otherwise, it'll just merge them. And if there's duplicates, it won't. It'll just add it to the bottom. So now let's try this with Excel. A lot of my customers complain that they can't get the zero to stay in front of the numbers. So here's a quick tutorial on how to fix that. So if I enter a dummy contact, contact number four, even if I make the column a number, and enter the number, it'll cut off the zero in front, as you will see. So it's best to highlight the columns, and right click or go up the top to uh, format cells, and down the bottom to custom, and on the left, hit type and enter 10 zeros in that field, as you can see. Hit OK and the number should keep the zero in front now. And that's how you get around that issue. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you in any way, please give me a thumbs up and share the video around. Thank you.